Hey everyone, it's Miss Emily. And Eliza and Chloe. And if you guys remember on Tuesday, we read Snack Time for Confetti by Callie Hilleman. And so today we are making crescent roll confetti party poppers to go along with the story. Okay, so what's the first thing we need to do before we get started? Wash our hands. We need to make sure we wash our hands for 20 seconds, get all those germies off, because we're going to be touching our food. So after you wash your hands, have a grown-up set the oven to 350 degrees, and then you'll need a few things to get started. You'll need one eight ounce can of crescent roll dough sheet, two tablespoons at least of um, semi-sweet mini chocolate chips, one tablespoon of butter, confetti colored sprinkles, and then you'll just need a pizza cutter and a pair of scissors. And then I'm using a brand new paintbrush to brush melted butter on top of our crescent rolls, but if you have something that you use in the kitchen to do this, you can use that as well. Okay, so our first step is to pop open our crescent roll dough and place it on our work surface. And I just um, put a piece of parchment paper out here on the countertop. That should work just fine for your work surface. So we gotta find the edge of the dough here. Careful, okay? And then we just gotta roll it out. There you go. Get it to roll all the way out, just like that. Good. Okay, so then we're going to use our pizza cutter to cut the dough into rectangles. So we're gonna cut it into four sections here. One, two, three, four. So let's count them. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to cut crosswise two times. Okay? Now, how can we tell that these are rectangles, Eliza? Because they have four sides. sides. Rectangles have four sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Right. And the special thing about a rectangle is that it has two short sides and two long sides. That's what makes it different from a square, right? Okay. So now we've got our dough cut into rectangular pieces and we are going to add chocolate our chips. chocolate chips, yep, in a straight line down the middle of each rectangle lengthwise. Okay, so can you help me do that, Eliza? Remember, let's do a straight line down the middle of each rectangle. Good. You got it. The chocolate chips are actually going to be the confetti inside of our party poppers. Some of them you might wanna do a vertical line down the middle, and some you might wanna do a horizontal line. Do you know the difference between a vertical line and a horizontal line? A vertical line goes up and down and a horizontal line goes left to right. Okay. So remember, we're doing a straight line through the middle, okay? Let's make sure we get all of them ready to go. Okay, do they all have enough confetti? Yeah. All right, once they've all got enough confetti in the middle, the next step is going to be to pinch them closed. Okay, so we're going to, about a half an inch from the edge, we're going to pinch each rectangle closed down the middle to create almost a little burrito. Instead, it has chocolate chips. Yep, a chocolate chip burrito. <laughs> okay, so now we've got them all pinched closed, 
And now we're going to take the ends of each roll and pinch the end to create the look of a party popper. Can you help me with that, Eliza? So you pinch each end just like that to create that party popper shape. You can actually leave them right where they're where, right where they are and just pinch the ends just like that. Good job. Can you do these two? Just want to pinch the ends here, just like that. Okay. You want to leave the middle kind of round. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Now this part you're going to want to ask a grown up to help you with. Okay. We're going to take our kitchen scissors and we are going to cut three cuts into each end to create a fringe. Yep. Because party papas look like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that to each end of each party popper. They look cool. They look really cool. into little fringes. You want to go ahead and melt your butter for about 30 seconds until it's all the way melted. And then have a grown up help you with this part because the butter will be a little warm right when it comes out of the microwave. So I'm just going to take my brand new paintbrush, never painted with this before, um, and use it to brush the crescent rolls with a little bit of butter. Okay, we wanna make sure we get each crescent roll covered with a layer of butter because this is what's going to keep the confetti sprinkles on while they bake. Okay, now once each crescent roll is coated with a little bit of butter, now comes the fun part, the confetti sprinkles. Ready, Liza? Yeah. All right, Eliza is going to sprinkle each party popper with a little bit of confetti sprinkles. Almost there. 
And so then they are going to bake in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. And that's it. Always, guys, let your mom put um, um, the hot things inside the oven. Yes. Make sure a grown-up helps you with this part. We're going to pop them in the oven. And we're done. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like the party poppers are done baking. So I'm going to pull them out of the oven. Ours baked for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, they turned out perfectly. They're light and fluffy. And on some of them, oh, careful, they're real hot. On some of them, you can even see the confetti chocolate chips on the inside. So we are going to wait for these to cool off a little bit and then Eliza and I are gonna try one. Okay, are you ready to try a bite? Yeah. Here we go, cheers. <laughs> Ready? Oh my gosh, those are really good. Can't wait to hear what you guys think of them. Show me your results if you try it. <laughs>